For his 2020 re-release, Body Shop Union Jack Ramon has been relabeled as just Union Jack Ramon. I think this is really interesting. I'm not sure if it's an error or not, but I just think it's really interesting. Since the original Union Jack Ramon was never an easy diecast to get, he was never released in a two-pack or as a single. He only ever showed up in some multi-packs. So I just find it really interesting that this variant of him, first released in 2017 as Body Shop Union Jack Ramon, has now had his name changed to just Union Jack Ramon, as if the other one never existed. I don't know, it's a whole thing. I just find it pretty interesting, and I'll definitely talk about it in a future episode of Cars Diecast Errors and Inconsistencies. I just wanted to get it out of the way before I started today's review. Speaking of today's review, hello everybody, welcome back to yet another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Metallic Union Jack Ramon from the Scavenger Hunt series. Now this Ramon is primarily two colors, he's both blue and red. And for metallic cars, Mattel only ever makes one color metallic. And for this Ramon, I think they definitely made the right choice with making him uh, a metallic blue, while the red just stays as a regular red. Personally, I would have preferred if both the blue and red are metallic, but that's not usually how they work. Whenever I think of this car, my mind always goes to the metallic Florida Ramon from last year, who... I don't know, I just think they're pretty similar. Uh, they both are based around a location. Uh, they both are two different colors. But I think this guy is a thousand times better than that Ramon, where the sort of like accent color on him was made metallic instead of the main color. Of course, we have this artwork of Ramon here, complete with the little paint gun on his wheel, which of course is on the die cast. Got special metallic edition written there. Scavenger Hunt series logo. And just the... Special Metallic Edition logo once again on the back with a picture of Ramon, Metallic Cal, and Metallic Jonas Carvers. So let's get this guy out of the package. Just reviewed a scavenger hunt car a few days ago when I took a look at Snot Rod, but here we go. All right, this guy looks really cool. Wow. All right, he looks way better than I originally thought. I really like how that turned out. First off, I want to say um, I prefer this expression to the expression on the regular version. I'd assume this is the expression that the Thailand version has as well. Uh, the Thailand version of Union Jack Ramon with paint gun. Mine is the original Made in China one. Yeah, I like the face on this guy way better. I think it looks way more like Ramon. It's a way calmer expression. This guy... I mean, I know he's based off of a fight scene, but he looks kind of crazy. I never really liked just how wide the eyes are. On this guy, they kind of lowered the eyelids a bit. Definitely like that face better. He even has a different mouth. This guy's smirking and this guy is not. So it's, I guess they are really transforming uh, this Ramon into just the new generic Union Jack Ramon. Because this guy's got like a normal Ramon face and this guy is clearly ready for a fight. I really like how this turned out with that nice metallic dark blue he looks really cool of course we have the union jack flag on the roof there got some red sort of triangles got a white outline around it just your typical ramon details there on the side we've got more of that nice metallic blue this part down here is metallic blue as well got his wheels down there and on the back we just have more designs and patterns we've got the low and slow license plate got his back lights there there's just a comparison between these two aside from the face and of course the metallic paint job on this guy there aren't really any other differences that i could spot between the two of these um although it seems that while this one has the radiator springs thing inside his back window i can't see it um on this ramon that doesn't mean it's not there, but I can't see it. And this radiator spring sign in the back of Ramon, I always have found really interesting. In my most recent Ramon review, I mentioned uh, wanting to buy a Ramon to break the back window open uh, and see what that looks like on the inside. Whether I'll do that or not, probably not, but I think it'd be interesting to see what that radiator spring sign in his back window really looks like. It's an interesting detail, and I'm really happy that they put it on Ramon diecasts now. It just shows you how great their attention to detail is. And we've got the other side here with the paint gun. And there is his base. Anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. 
Again, this Ramon definitely looked way better than I originally thought. I think he looks awesome. I actually prefer him to the original Ramon here, especially because of that expression. And again, I'd assume that's the expression that the Thailand version of this Ramon has, although I'm not 100% on that. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now. Thank you.